Hi lads and welcome back to another episode of my Rangers crew mode and this is episode 1 of season 2 of my, of Rangers and we've already done some minor stuff in the World Cup episodes with Scotland we've done some in between games, not a lot and this is where we're going to get into the main stuff we're not going to go through the whole transfer window but to the first league game at least so we're going to go into training, we've got Watson and Hyundai Silva of course, as there is Andy Silva or Andy Silva, but of course Silva only played eight games last season. He just got so unlucky with injuries, but yeah, not much we can do about that. So as you can see, Joe Dodo is sold for 1.8 million to Nottingham Forest. Fair enough. And Jason Holt, Scunthorpe, won him for 910,000. Um, I mean, what? Well, as much as I like Jason Holt, I'll probably I'm going to accept that. I don't think he even played once last season. West Virginia, you know, I'm not going to sell him. Interest shown, in, I don't know who Lazaro is. But anyway, yeah, we're going to look at my shortlist from last season and the new players I've brought into it. Alright lads, so there's a few players that I want and it's in centre-back position. They're, they're, my centre-backs listed are Sar, Diop, Awaziem, Alderete, Bastoni, Akanji, Delight, Diakabe, Sa Sainz, Brian Con, Venancio. Yeah, that's it. And I want another centre back because Bruno Alves isn't going to last forever and Danny Wilson is sold so we're actually in desperate need for a centre back. Maybe actually two, but I mean I don't I, I don't really know a lot about these players so I'm going to try and scout them. We'll see if it lets us buy Sainz, I don't know how to say his name. Right, so he's actually got a release clause, 9.3 million. Right, so that will mean that we can get them for cheaper than 9.3 million so we'll go in for them we'll begin no negotiations with the club maybe 6 million we'll go for them and right 6 million uh, yeah right submit offer 7.8 and 10% sale on clause uh, I'll counter that I'll give them a big sale on clause because we're not actually going to look to sell them how much can I go up to? Oh, 25. Yeah, I'll go with a 15% selling clause. Propose new transfer fee. We'll bump that down to 7. And we'll submit that. Hopefully he'll accept that. Yep, he's accepted that. Bit of negotiation there. And we'll go into the player negotiations. So straight in with signs. Same day. And we're going to... How much? I, I don't even know how much is he, he's on right now. Alright, we'll just go straight in and negotiate. Never mind delegate. We'll negotiate with him and see what he wants. Important squad role, yep, happy for that. Three years, um, let's say four. Alright, he's happy with that as well. Disregard release clause. 10,000 squid. Yeah, I'll give him that. Let's go. We've, we've just signed our first player in the new transfer window. Well, technically, because we already had Jamie Walker and Lewis Malt, but we've got we've got Science. I'll need to learn how to pronounce his name now that he's signed with us. So yeah, Science has signed for Rangers. Also, I didn't show you the objectives overview. overview. So youth development is a medium. Grow to youth academy players by at least ten overall points. As soon as they've grown, play them in ten matches, either coming on or as starting eleven. So that's that's going to take a wee bit of work. Brand exposure gained 14, just under 15 million earnings from short sales within a season. So we'll try and sign some players and then that should hopefully work out. Continental success, reach the group stage of the Champions Cup. We're definitely looking to do at least that. Domestic success, win the league title and reach the semis of the Scottish Cup. We're hoping to do what we've done last year. And financially, three, so it's a medium, within three seasons increase the club worth of your club by 100%. We've actually done 0%, I don't understand. Leave a comment if you actually know if there's any ways to improve that. I could probably just look up a YouTube video anyway. Alright lads, so we're going to go into the first game of European, European International Cup. And I just realised I need to get a centre back. Because Bruno Alves I think was only on a one year. Or maybe he retired. And Danny Wilson left on a pre-contract. So we've only got two centre backs in the actual team. I may actually look at my youth players and see if I can bring one up. Then we're going to go into this game. Rangers versus Barca Sport. We do not, we're not going to play the friendlies. Just because, I mean, get a bit of quickness to the to the the series. But yeah, Edward scored in the fifth minute. Use in the sixth minute. Osby's missed a penalty, and we're going to skip. And we win two one. 
signs on his debut. He's he's an absolute zero right now. But Edwards got the winner with in the seventy second minute. And Science, I just realised Science. He's one of our only two centre backs, so we need to get someone in to replace him. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hire another scout because I do really I do actually really like using the youth scouts, even though if the objective isn't that high. So I'm gonna get this guy for 1.5 million. It's quite expensive. So I've got two now. The Scottish one is better than the Swedish one by just one star. But we're gonna send the Swedish one. Uh, we'll send him to Sweden because apparently I don't know if it's true, but apparently if you send him to the same country as what he is like what nationality the scout is, then they'll find better people. I don't know if that's true, but if it isn't, then it doesn't really make a difference, does it? So, it doesn't really, I don't know if there's any countries that specialise in any places, but any positions or anything, but Scot Scottish guys out to Scotland and Swedish guys out to Sweden. Well, lads, so obviously we're struggling for a centre-back right now. I'm going to put Rico Henry in there and see how he does. Other than that, it's, it's a pretty... I mean, it doesn't really, I'm just putting players in left, right and centre, it doesn't really matter. It's only friendlies, but it's still a reasonably strong squad that we're going with. So we're going to go into this game against Sunderland. And hopefully we can keep... They do against Benevento, who are our lower, lower league, lower league Calcio A team. So we're going to skip that, and we drew two each. Alexic and Dorns with the goals, and then Lenz and McNair for, with the goals for Sunderland. And Ryan Jack with sending off. We're not very disciplined this season, are we? Right, lads, so going into this final game against Benevento, a draw will be enough to put us through to the next round. So we'll see if we are able to get that with a sim, and we, we draw it. And, oh, Joe with a red card. What is happening? Why is every game we're getting a red card? But Rico Henry with a goal from centre-back, because Sainz is still injured, uh, suspended. Rossiter with a goal. Two unlikely goal scorers, but, yeah, we went 2-0 up, and then they scored, then Audrey got sent off. So we're through to the next round. Right, so we've got a transfer offer for Carlos Pena. I wanted rid of him last season, and Herrera I'm also wanting rid of, but Carlos Pena, 3.1 million, I'm just gonna sell him because I'm not looking to play him at all. I hope a uh, transfer offer comes in for Ander Herrera as well. It's not Ander, Eduardo or Herrera. Imagine we had Ander Herrera. Right, so semi-final against Goz Tepe. I don't even know what league they're in, but hopefully we can get a win against them. And we're going to sim this one. And we win 1 now. The man, the injury man, is injured again. Silva. And it looked as if he was. He actually had to be carried off. Alexis with the goal. But come on, please don't tell me that Silva's actually injured before the season starts. I mean, he's injured, but hopefully it's not for long. We'll just check. Player injured for two months. He's going to miss the start of the league season. That's just. Why is he getting injured so often? It's, it's quite annoying. So into this final game of the tournament against Cagliari, and um, I have a few, yeah, it must be in Italy because it's Hellas Hel Hel Verona and Benevento were also in it. So we're gonna skip, and we lose on penalties, five four in penalties. We drew one each. Tav got the goal, and Henry got sent off. So Simon obviously isn't the best for us in terms of red cards and injuries because like every match there's been either a red card or an injury, which isn't the best. So. Yeah, oh, there we go. Carlos Pena has been sold. That's good. And transfer offer for Josh Windas. I think I'm going to accept that because he's not in my plans to play. I've got so many winners. I've got Candace, Edwards, Watson. I've got Dalcio, who I think I'll keep. And then there's also Ojbeliz. So I've got plenty of them. 3.8 million, 900k above his actual value. I'm going to accept that. So what I'm thinking of doing, because I've only got one right back, because we sold Leo Hodson. And Tav is only right back. I'm going to bring in Douglas Stewart from the Youth Academy. And that will help our objective. And also, we've got a backup right back. So we're going to promote him to the senior squad. Then we've also got two other guys. A, a goalkeeper and a centre forward. But we'll leave them for later. So we're now going to put uh, Stewart in for training. To try and get him up to that, those 10 overalls. Simulate them. We've got him and Watson. In. And Anderson. We've also got Anderson. So Stuart, almost 61. So we also need another centre back because we've only got two. So I'm looking at Alderete maybe. Yep, we can go for him. And hopefully he don't want too much from him. He's 21 year old. And I mean, if he's only 21. In fact, I'm going to go for a player swap. See if there's anyone that we can offer. Jason Holt, I'll see if they want Jason Holt. 
They're wanting a left back. Okay. Left back. We've only got Beerman, Henry, and Wallace. Uh, what have I done, Wallace? I mean, he's 31. I mean, he's a good player, but he's 31. And, you know, I don't really want to have him rot on the bench, if you like. I mean, he would still play some games. But I'm going to put in Lee Wallace. See if they would consider it. So they want Lee Wallace and 10, 10 million. I'm going to counter that and propose a new offer. Uh, let's say 8 million. Submit so that. Alright, they're happy with that. They want a crucial. He's obviously a good player if he costs 8 million plus Lee Wallace and he wants a crucial you know, squad role. So we're going to go four years. Hopefully he wants that. Yep, they're happy. Wait, they're not happy with that? Oh, come on. Three years at the minimum. Alright, he's happy with that one. And then we'll disregard release clause. And he wants 15k. Um, let's edit that. Let's put it... In fact, no, I don't want to risk it. Okay, no, I'm just going to submit that. 25 clean sheets, 800k. I'm happy with that. That's I've got another centre back. Goodbye, Lee Wallace. I mean, he's a... You could consider him as a legend. He said through his through hard times. But... That's Lee Wallace's time, and we've brought in a, a new young defender in, 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 in place of Lee Wallace, you could say. Josh Mandassi's transfer talks are broken down. We've got another from Nottingham Forest, 3.5. I'm going to accept that. Uh, yep, there it is. Accept that. And then we also had an offer for Michael O'Halloran. I'm going to accept that because he ain't gonna, he's not in my plans, really. Hopefully both of them get sold. So we've arrived at the first league game and this is where this e video ends. And obviously next game we're gonna have we're gonna have four games. Hibs home, Aberdeen away, probably gonna sim Dundee at home, and then Kilmarnock will be the final game and we'll hopefully finish transfer deadline day in the next episode. So if you guys did like it, please give a like and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh.